Hello, this is the Provoke Prawn, and this is the Q indoor smart home camera. This is one of the most affordable, intelligent, and feature packed smart home cameras you can get. Uh, comes in at just around £40, which is remarkably cheap. It is only a 720p camera, but it has a number of features which make it really interesting. So stick with me in this video as I talk you through why this is an interesting smart home camera, what the features are, how it works, how easy it is to set up, and how it functions day and night. I'll be showing you some example footage at the end, unboxing the camera as I go through the specs, and talking to you in a bit more depth about how it works. Now this might be a brand you've never heard of before, but that doesn't mean it should be dismissed. There are a lot of different smart home cameras out there. And I have previously reviewed and unboxed and reviewed a camera from this company. They were, used to go under the name The Change, have now been rebranded. And to be honest, both company names are a bit difficult to pronounce and probably not that memorable uh, either un, under either branding type. But that doesn't mean that they don't represent an excellent smart home camera product that's worth considering. This is the cheapest option, as I said it's £40. There is a more expensive range of camera which I've reviewed and you'll be able to see in my videos and I'll link to in the description. That is a bit more versatile in terms of it delivers 1080p footage and you can actually turn the camera remotely using the smartphone app which is useful. But this 720p camera is also pretty neat. It comes with some installation mounts that you could see, uh, a nice little stand and a flexible design which allows it to be bent and turned in a variety of different ways. Now the mount means that you can mount it on the ceiling or on a wall and you could also in theory mount it upside down. But It also comes with this reasonably long micro USB cable which means that you can basically plug it in anywhere. So during example footage I put it in my hallway on top of a cupboard and it was quite up quite high and had a good view of the front door. Now you can see the setup process here. You download and install the app and then you just need to scan a QR code. We'll show side by side of that happening. Once you've done that, you then log into the application and go through the setup process. This setup process is really simple and quite interesting basically it involves a cuckoo sound being transmitted from your phone that then is picked up by the camera and that makes that connection it then pairs the device and allows you to input your Wi-Fi password probably takes around 60 seconds or so to get that connection set up and then it goes through various stages of adding the camera to the cloud now this is an interesting camera because it is cloud based, but it also supports a micro SD card. That's one of my favorite features. A lot of these smart home cameras have a cloud based service that you need to pay to access the footage. This camera has the micro SD card built into it. So you can plug your own micro SD card in there and it'll automatically record and store footage within it, which is an excellent feature. Uh, you can otherwise pay for the cloud service and get access to that footage whenever you need it, whether you're inside or outside the house. Because it's on a smart smartphone application, it's easy to access that footage when you need to. Now, this camera operates in a number of different ways. Firstly, it will notify you on your phone when movement is detected and it will automatically record footage from around that period you can then review that footage by going into this camera and looking for the footage at the time it was captured you can then take a screenshot download it review it whatever this is an excellent little tool for reviewing the day and seeing what's happened throughout just demonstrating here how to how easy it is to plug in the micro sd card as long as you get it the right way around the camera itself also, as you might have noticed from this video footage, has a microphone and speaker built into it. Now, once you've got the app downloaded and the connection made, you can go into the app and then you can activate the storage format and the SD card you put in there or set up your cloud storage options. You can obviously do a mixture of both 
and you do get a free trial of the cloud storage before you need to pay which gives you a taste of what it's like. There are also options to encrypt that cloud storage to make sure it's nice and secure and that you're happy that no one's going to be viewing your own content. As you can see there are a variety of options that include things like being able to rotate the image should you need to. So if you mount the camera upside down you can flip that over. You can share the device with other people so the other family members can have access to what it's recording. And you, as I said, will get notifications on the app whenever movement is detected. You'll see here you can switch between the two. So in the center there you can see the cloud sign and the SD card symbol. You can switch between those and then you get this time of the day view of uh, what's going on. The orange markers on the time frame there indicate when it's detected movement. And you can see they're obviously chunkier when movement has been detected and recorded otherwise it just doesn't record anything it's not constantly recording It'll, it's motion activated so you only see what you need to see you can review all the different captures throughout the day and then save them if necessary so this is obviously ideal if someone breaks into your house you have unwanted guests you can then f scroll back through that footage review it and then download it and share it with the police or insurance company or whatever else you need to do. Hello, PP here. This is my dog. This is the camera. 720p. This is the footage that it's capturing and the quality of the microphone. I am probably shouting, but you can see a fair amount of my hallway. It's very exciting. I'm going to change the camera's position to show you what that's like during the day and night. Uh, but at the moment it's up high on a shelf, it's got a decent cable length to it, so it's able to put it up quite high, which is nice. So you can also... As you can see, the footage itself is pretty decent. Now, if you look on the right hand side, this is a recording from my phone, which shows you the app itself and how you review the footage. So if you look in this instance, I'm reviewing that footage that I just showed you, the recording that I just made and then you can click to download it by recording it and then downloading it and then you can share it wherever you need to whether that's uh, up to google drive or uh, via email or to youtube or social media whatever you want to do with it you can also take screenshots so you can get screenshots of people in your house or whatever else you want to um, funnily enough i've fortunately never had to use cameras for that sort of thing before it's usually just to check silly things like what the dog's doing or whether we managed to leave home with the children's gloves or something silly like that. Now within the app you also get access to a variety of settings which make it really easy to use. You can update the firmware remotely and other things like that too. Here you can see some footage recorded at night in the same position so that gives you an idea of what the quality of the night vision mode is like. That automatically switches into night vision mode when it gets dark enough, this is first thing in the morning, you can see it's just 20 past 6, uh, getting up to take the dog out for a walk. The lights come on, or turn the lights on, and then it switches into the standard day view. And that automatically does that, so there's no faffing required, nice and easy. Of me, and then me, and then me again. And here's some more footage of me recorded. As with any of these cloud cameras. Because the via the camera itself. Up through the Wi-Fi first and then back down into your phone. Just show that again with a hello. Quick movement of my hand. There you go, it's only a minor second. And this is the standard view that you can see. As you can see the quality of the camera itself, the footage it captures isn't amazing, it's not gonna blow your mind, but it does record sufficiently to be able to see people's faces and see what's going on in the environment. So at the end of the day, this is a really cheap and easy to use camera that's really easy to set up and has the benefit of SD card storage, which is a big plus.